So we're only halfway through 2024, and let me tell you, the VA has had a rough go of it so far. You've had your usual suspects, such as long delays in the backlog, the PACT Act claims were taking forever, but you've also had a couple of major embarrassing scandals take place. Who remembers this? First, you had the CNP examiners who, according to this report, they were exposed for shredding evidence, shredding DBQs, or even broom closet gate, where they were meeting you for your CNP exam in some dark broom closet. And I don't know, but the staffing shortage must be really bad at the VA because that's been good enough for their executives to be paid out around $11 million in bonuses, critical skill incentives. I want to try to put this in perspective. So in, in the mental health and suicide prevention in the office, the director of continuous care and general health makes around $300,000 a year. And the CSI was $76-ish thousand dollars that was paid out. Now here's my problem. So what was the suicide rate at last year for veterans? We, well, we had more than uh, 6,500 suicides. The numbers are continuously going up. They're not decreasing. So Correct. the system itself, itself is, is failing. I don't have a problem saying the system itself yeah. is absolutely failing our veterans. The executive director for suicide prevention received 49, almost 50,000 in CSI. The deputy director for field support and analytics, which has been in office since 2016, got $48,000. And then the deputy director received almost $50,000. But my point is, we just rewarded these people for failure. That was VA Secretary Dennis McDonough getting grilled by Congressman Luttrell over the critical skill incentives, CSI, bonuses, about $11 million in total that were given out to VA executives, including, as they were referencing, the Director of Suicide Prevention for the veterans. Even though those numbers are going up, he was still amongst the folks who got a large bonus. Meanwhile, while this is happening, you had some of the most stringent changes happen on the VA disability side this year. We're talking about the GERD rating changes. I'm talking about the insomnia as a secondary claim rating changes. This is why I'm saying that there are going to be some massive shakeups at the VA very soon. And I'm talking this next 12 months or so, we are going to start to see the tides shift completely within the VA. But on a serious note, we're all watching this and I can feel it. I, t I speak to fellow veterans every single day. We are energized. It is an election year. Right now is the time to make your voices heard. People are writing their congresspeople. They are going ahead and calling their congressmen, their congresswoman. Right now is the time. Because although we are the 1%, right, we're only about 1% of this nation as veterans, as service members, we're not the 1% to be messed with. And I think they know that. And right now, the VA is going to feel that. I want you to go ahead and exercise your right to speak up, because now is the critical time point as there's discussions with the VA budget, how funds are going to get allocated. There's a lot of light shown into the funding. There is embarrassment in Washington, DC. And with embarrassment comes big changes. And this is what I'm here to tell you. Thanks for your time today. Share this with people who need to hear it. Now's the time. Cheers.